beast from the planet. This one straight to a boy neck. You better pray so it no connect. Left by your shield and a friend. And your P45 if you can it. Fire red and dead. Nigga, nigga. I'm your host, L, and this is the hottest on the planet, Fire Red Station. I'd like to take this time to welcome the legendary Dandy Livingston, a British Jamaican reggae singer, musician and producer, best known for his 1972 hit, Suzanne Beware of the Devil, and for his song, Rudy, a message to you. That's right. <laughs> Where in Jamaica were you born? I, I was born in Kingston, um, a place called... Uh... Uh, in, in, in Kingston, same time, Kingston. Okay. Um, same, the same thing. How old were you when you came to England? I was 15 years of age. You got that? Yes. 15. What was your yeah. first impression of England? <laughs> My first impression of England. Okay. Um, at the time, I, you know, I remember uh, arriving at um, whatever the station is. And it was, it, it was dark and. Uh, <laughs> But, uh, we say cloudy or uh, smoggy and uh, not smoggy, but um, foggy, foggy, yeah. foggy. Yeah, right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And uh, and I said to myself, Oh, okay, okay. This is I'm in England. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I heard about all, all you know the, the weather situation. Did you experience any discrimination? No. Uh, Yeah. And, um, I did my schooling thing and 
and then music it it, it developed, eh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I and I got to like what <laughs> I, I got to like it development, so to speak. <laughs> yeah, right. Do you play other instruments other than the piano? No, I don't. I, I just play piano. I, I don't play piano fluently. It just so just calls the right song and thing. Right? Not fluently, you know. But I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, yeah. I know when. I know when someone is singing flat or or, or you know um, or a key or what you want to call it. The, the call is right. No, far from far from perfect picture, but I'm gonna go here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. influenced you to start writing songs? Oh, uh, it's just, it's just, I don't know, it, it just came about, like I said, right? It just came about. Uh, nobody really influenced, uh, there was no influence as such. But after a while, but after a while, you know, yeah, people like, um, you know, um, you, you, you know, the soul scene in the 60s, the old soul scene. Because really, I'm, I'm a jazz person. about social issues. To the reggae industry. My first step. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> well, and um, as I said to you earlier, on, right? I got into music way back in sixty sixty three. Yeah. When I bought my first piano, which yeah. I didn't know anything about. I didn't know nothing about any notes or nothing like that. <laughs> right. But I just bought my first piano, right? Like I said to you earlier, on, to steal the pressure. Do my own thing at home, you know, um, but, you know, and, 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 and develop from there. And I remember doing a, an audition uh, way back in '63 for a company called uh, Planet, not, not Planet, uh, Carnival, fire, fire, Carnival fire, Records. Fire, yeah. Fire. Back in back in '64. Okay. And I, I, I uh, the late Lee Gottel, you know, who was chosen a uh, uh, man person. Yeah. Yeah. Um, he introduced me to this person that before Lee got into the old music thing as yeah. such, you know, com as company wise. Because Lee Gottel used to sell, um, he had this mail order company, you know. Yeah. In, those, in those days, as you can imagine, yeah. Yeah, records were selling like arcades, right? Yeah. So I, I used to, on weekend time, they used to sell records for him. Okay. Lee Gottel. Because I met Lee way back in 63. So he, he got to realize I was interested in like maybe, you know, singing up. <laughs> and so he introduced me to Alan Crawford, 
from Crossbow Records. Okay. Which was Carnival, was Carnival was the subsidiary label. Okay. And uh, I, I did an audition and I passed the audition and I, I did my first recording. Official recording, that is. And what was your first and, recording? Uh, um, I did three songs. Okay. One on What a Life, one on What a Life, that's all. That was my first picture, uh, What a Life. Yeah. And, um, and couple tune, I, I don't remember the, the, the name of them. But What a Life was the, my first big sell. In those days, you know, the, you know, the pirate radio station, there were about two, uh, Radio Caroline, right? There were about two, right? Yeah. I don't know if you're old, old enough to remember that, right? But the Radio Caroline, you know, uh, Carnival Records, the boss, was part of Radio Caroline. He was part of the whole thing. Okay. So I got a lot of airplay, you know, yeah. from that song. And then, hence, after that, you know, other things. You sold like 25,000 copies of that one, didn't you? Yeah, about right. You're probably fifty, but they tell you twenty-five. No? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 You, we never know the right amount, do we? No. no. For real. <laughs> anyway, you know, you know, things went on from there on. Then I went to Reader King, uh, 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 uh Scabby label. You know Scarby's label, right? Yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah man. And, um, Rita, uh, I used to pop into her shop in, in, in Stratford and buy records. And, and she knew of me. Um, she knew of um, uh, What a Life. And, she, and one day she said to me, Daddy, what are you doing? You know I mean? Aren't you recording anymore? So I said, No, Rita, I'm concentrating on school. You know? Yeah. yeah. And then about. Uh, Maybe six, nine months after, uh, I was in a other place in uh, North London. I don't remember the, the name of the uh, uh, Stanford, Stanford, right? Stanford Hill or something like that. Yeah. And, and we bumped into each other. And, and from then, you know, I did a session for her. Okay. And and, 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 and the session, um, uh, an album called uh, Rock Save with, with, with Dandy. Yeah. Yeah, I came out of that session, right? Okay. Then after that, then after that, um, something came to me one day, uh, and I said to myself, "Why not do a rude boy song? You know, something to let the rude boys, you know, a message, right?" And, <laughs> and it worked. <laughs> yeah, it worked. Yeah. 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 One hour all told to record, you yeah. know, do overdubbing and saying master, bum 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 bum, one hour. Rudy, yeah. me, message, Rudy, message, you, message, Rudy, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, yeah but wow. it's wow. up until this day, eh? Yeah, definitely. Up, up until this day, 1960, 1967. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. You can surely still, call that a hit. I'm, I'm still, I'm, I'm, I, I'm still sort of taking back, you know, all this simple song up until today you know 50 years after yeah right? it's still a big it's still a big thing <laughs> yeah everybody 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 sing a really message to you yeah they do <laughs> <laughs> they do <laughs> amazing really, really you know how did sugar and dandy come about sugar and dandy oh great if you remember a couple minutes ago i told you about carnival carnival records right yeah they wanted they wanted to cash in on the you know, the question and scene at the time with yeah. the radio music, but at the time it wasn't radio, but, um, you know, um, Jamaica music, right? Yeah. So, um, uh, I love, you know, I love really, I love to hear harmonies, you know. Yeah. So, I did a couple sessions and I, I took a, a, a particular person there, right? A chap, I don't remember his name now. But the producer wasn't too wasn't keen keen on his you know on, on him. He would have been nervous. So I ended up doing everything myself. Okay. You know, not knowing anything about um, over overdubbing or nothing like that. Yeah. But it worked. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It worked. I did my thing and uh, um, my one part harmony. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and it worked. <laughs> then after that, now I met um, Sugar Simone. Keith Foster is proper name. Yeah. 
and we did a couple of shows, you know, about two or three shows, and we did a couple of songs together, yes. and, um, and that was it, you know, and, you know, he went his way, you know, and I went mine, you know? Yeah. Yeah. You mentioned um, Trojan. What was your connection with them? Well, uh, I remember early on, I said to leave the couple, right? Yeah. He was the one who introduced me to uh, Carnival Records before he got into the, the actual um, uh, 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 Trojan Records. Yeah. Right? Because he was, he, he, was, he had this, he had this mail order thing going and um, after a while, then he and Chris Blackwell, you know, merged and started Trojan. Because as you know, Chris had had records going. But after a while, come 68, Lee decided to go into um, the actual, you know, manufacturing of records and things like that. So one day I got a phone call from him and he said, Dandy, I want you to come on board. You know what I mean? Mm. I'm starting up something with Chris and, um, you know, we were, we, were, we, we were all young people, you know, adventurous, you know, right? Uh, uh, we were about uh, five, six years my senior, yeah. you know? Yeah. Anyway, yes, I am. I went down and see him. I saw him and we talked and, he, and I, did, I started doing some, you know, some recording for him. Okay. And uh, that was it, you know what I mean? Okay. Yeah. Your, what ended your journey with Trojan? No, um, my, my thing with Trojan ended when Trojan ended. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was only seven years ago. Trojan only lasted seven years. Okay. It seemed like, it seemed like 50 years, don't it? Yeah, yeah. it did. 68, 68 to, to 75. Okay. 1968 to, to 75. Wow. Yeah. 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 But, um, Lee, Lee was a good man, you know. We... You know, like, you know, you know, we children in the early in the early days, it, it was like a family, right? Right? Mm -hmm. It might sound like a cliche, but um we you know, we were all, you know, we had our own parties and things like that. I would invite Lee Lee would, would invite me to his parties or his house. Mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Yeah. They're trades with parties. When they come to my party and, and things like that, you know. Yeah. And, um, yeah, it was really sad, you know, when, when it, and it came to really very, very, very sad, very, very sad. Yeah. Very sad, you know? Yeah. It, 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 it wasn't lovely at all. No. How did you meet with Audrey Hall? Audrey, okay. I, I met Audrey, a friend of mine introduced me to Audrey. Uh, like I said earlier, we were all young people um, trying to sing. <laughs> Nobody knew anything much about music. But, but we all sang in, in key. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. I met only one, one you know, friend of mine, my best man, you know. He was my best man at my wedding, right? Yeah. And he, he, he knew these, uh, this family in Brooklyn, in, in, in um, London. Yeah. And he knew, and he, you know, he knew this girl, Audrey, who was interested in singing. And I went around. To see your parents, you know, ask the permission, you know, me permission to if she could come out and do some, you know, rehearsal with us. And, and her mother said, Okay, all right, take care of her. Don't get too naughty. <laughs> 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 yes, no, no, seriously, seriously. So that was it, you know, Audrey, we did a couple of songs together, an album as well. And uh, after a while, like everything else, you know, she went to Boyd, she went to New York, you know. I, uh, I, uh, I was left in London, and th then after that, Susan came about, you know, mm. um, and Susan the devil, and didn't escalate, um, you know, stepped up from there, you know, yeah. I, I was never, up until this day, people say to me, Danny, why you, it, 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 because I'm not, I'm not like an artist who's out there, you know, um, you know, wanting to get to, I mean, to be a star, you know, up yeah. until this day. <laughs> People are amazed with me, you know what I mean? I don't do my thing, mm. you know, and yeah. um, not wanting to, I'm, I'm not an a, a, a entertainer, yeah. you know what I mean? But, yeah, but when Susan happened, right, I went out there and do my thing, I did Top of the Pops and things like that, and I did a few shows, but I, I love the studio, you know, I love production. Yeah. Yeah, you know I mean? I love production, yeah. You know? 
I'm not. I would never. I, up until this day, I don't consider myself as an entertainer. No, no, no way. <laughs> yeah, no way. But I love. I love producing. I love produce music. What yeah. artists have you collaborated with? No other. Okay. No other. No other. <laughs> no, I, you know, no other. Okay. Uh, Away from the early days with Sugar, which, uh, what's his name? The other girl. After yeah. that, no other, you know. You know, I, I, you know, I produce uh, a couple of things like red, red wine, you know. Mm. That was like, a, an, that was like an accident as well. You know, that was like a section. We did the main thing and then I remember that Tony Tribe, um, was checking me, he checked me a few times, you know, to do something and, uh, something that's spread uh, on, on the end of the session, we had about 10 minutes left, left over, right? Yeah. And the guys were packing up the instrument. And I remember Tony, I said, Lord of mercy, what I'm going to tell Tony, Tony now. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I just, um, we just rushed, running around the wine. It's the up until this day. It's a rush record. <laughs> a rush record. That's from the lot of records. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, you know. Nothing planned also, nothing planned, you know, we just rush it, right? And I called him in about a week after and said, Tony, come and listen to this. And he loved what he heard, you know what I mean? Yeah. And he put his voice on, and that was it. <laughs> <laughs> it went in the top 40. Yeah, wow. <laughs> 1969, <laughs> what a good year. <laughs> what is your connection with Eddie Grant and Carlin Music? Eddie Grant and Carlin Music. Why? Why do you ask that, that question? Because I hear that you had a connection with him. With Eddie Grant? With who? With who? Eddie or Carlin Music? Carlin Music. Eddie Grant was part of it. Was no, it not? No, no. No, he, 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 no, he was Eddie. No, what happened was, right? When when, when the special did the rule, right? Yeah. Eddie checked him for, to, uh, about the song. Okay. You know, to, I, mean, I mean, the publishing, right? Okay. And I said, I said to Eddie, um, boy, I don't know. Um, so Eddie, you know, Eddie said, Dandy, you know, I want this song, right? You know, and I, I said to myself, well, Eddie's a bit, I mean, why, why he's so persistent, you know what I mean? Yeah. So I said, Eddie, I, I mean, Eddie plays 250 pounds in my hand, right? Yeah. I said, uh, eh, eh, Dandy, hold this, I want this, this song. Later on, we can do a contract. <laughs> And I said, and I said, Eddie, I don't know about this, you know. Anyway, it was very, you know. So anyway, um, about a week after, yeah, Carlin Music contacted me, right, about um, about the song, yeah, and and the, and the, and I made a good offer. <laughs> <laughs> Much more than Eddie Grant's 250 pounds. Yeah. Right? Now, you know, sometimes it's not the amount, you know, right? As, as you know, right? Yeah. It, it's, what, it's what lies up ahead, right? Done it. Right? So I said to myself, I went home to my family and I discussed with my wife and said, hey, you know, Eddie, 250 pounds is like nothing now. Carl is offering me, you know. Much more a bigger advance, and they are and they are a major company. Yeah, a big, a, a, a big independent company. You know, people in their catalog, Elvis Presley, San, Frank Sinatra, all these songs is in the catalog. You know what I mean? Anyway, I gave back um, any grant two hundred pounds, right? Yeah. And he said, he said to me, Danny, why, why are you giving back the money? I said, not all of the money. I'm giving back two hundred. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna keep fifty for all the answer guys <laughs> and that was it. That 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 was it. <laughs> he went with it. He went he went with it, man. Yeah. <laughs> he didn't say a, he didn't say a word after that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But it is but it is it is good, man. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, up, up until today, Colin, very good to me, you know, very good to me. And, you know, you know, they're, they're professional, right? Yeah. Professional, uh, and uh, my royalties has been very, very good to me, you know, trust me. <laughs>
we know you've made many, many, many songs and many albums. But what? But what songs and albums are important to you? You know, I, 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 I haven't made many albums, honestly. Okay. I, I, it's only about eight albums. Yeah, probably ten the most. You know, and um, three is uh, I, I have done in um, album two in Jamaica. Okay. Since I've been back. Okay. And uh, the rest of the compilation and uh, other things. And no, no, no. You know, not many. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Which ones were important yeah, to you? As a matter of fact, uh, you know, you know, something it might sound a bit harsh, but none until I did my own. Until I did, until I come back, I came back to Jamaica, and I did. Um, they call us legend. The, the, I mean, the, before they call us legend was uh, the world is open. Yeah. I, I don't know if you know that album. Yeah, I've seen. Right? It. Yeah, the world is open. Then I did legend. Yeah. Which so legend is a, so a fantastic album. People. I got so many, you know, compliments to read that album. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah. But, you know, music is music. What I don't like is. <laughs> what I don't like. Most of the things that I don't like are the ones that really <laughs> sell a lot. <laughs> no, no, serious, you know? Yeah. Just like that, you know? Uh, yeah. Yeah, man. How do you feel about performing live? Uh, no problem, you know, like I said earlier, I'm not really an entertainer, but yeah. when the time comes, I do my thing, you know, Yeah. I, I did a few shows, after 15, 2015 and 2016, I, I, I was in London, I did a few shows, I mm. did Blackpool in 2016, I did, um, the, I, I did four shows in 2016, you know, the old Scammer thing, right? Yeah. Scammer Festival. Yeah. I did under the bridge. I did under the bridge, you know, um, two days before it's come out. Uh, Blackpool Winter Garden, I think, uh, it is called, right? And a and, and, and couple others. Yeah, man. Mm-hmm. And I enjoyed it. I didn't know people loved me so much. I didn't know I was loved so much, boy. Yeah. I mean, it must have been a nice feeling. Yeah, very, 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 you know. Yeah. yeah, and, uh, and I'm, you know, I'm really proud that uh, I'm really glad that Europe really is continuing the legacy of reggae, reggae mm-hmm. music. Believe me, believe me. Places like France and um, yeah, Brazil and all in place, reggae is so big. And Germany, right? yeah. Italy is coming along as well too. Mm. Yeah, man, it's great, 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 great. You know, really makes you feel good. You know. Yeah, so that's my thing. You know, I, I. You know, I, I just do my little one and, you know, bit there and there, you know what I mean? Yeah. And enjoy the thing. Yeah. What was your first big live performance? My first live performance? Yeah. That's the way back in 72 when uh, um, uh, the big, when uh, Susan, Susan, right? Yeah, man. Um, after Top of the Pops, so that was my first. <laughs> I'll tell you something. That was Top of the Pops, you know, I know what you mean. Uh, top of the Pops, right? Yeah. And um, I said to myself, Lord of mercy, I'm going to sing live now. Yeah, I have to sing live. You know, first time in my life now, right? Yeah. I'm going to sing live. Fire. You know, Fire. 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 From way back, you know, um, I probably did two shows with Sugar. But this now is 1972 now. Yeah. You know, on my own. I did Top of the Pops and um, hey, it went down. I did Big City live. You know what I mean? Yeah. Live, you do the vocals were live okay. on, on, on top of the pops, right? Yeah. Yeah, and I enjoyed it, I enjoyed it. Yeah, man. Match it up as you say. <laughs> <laughs> was yeah. that your most memorable event? Um, well, that was top of the pops, on the roof, right? Uh, I mean, when I say on the roof, I mean um, that it was TV thing, right? Yeah. But um, I've had some, a couple of nice um, shows after that. I remember I did something um, in, um, in um, uh, what do you call it, San Diego country, um, not Denmark, the other one beside it, Sweden. Yeah, man, I did a couple of shows in Sweden, uh, which was fantastic, in the park, in the summer. You know, yeah, you know okay. I mean? Festivals. I did, I did, yeah, right, I did yeah. Finland, right, and Norway. Yeah. Oh, beautiful, eh? <laughs> yeah, man, yeah. them days look good, you know. Really enjoy those days. Yeah. What made you start producing? Fire, 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 fire. What made me stop? Start. 
Start, you mean start all over, you mean? Uh, what do you mean, start all over in Jamaica? Yeah. Well, you know, I came out of Jamaica in 83, right? 1983. Yeah. And I, I, I put, I, 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 at the time, I put music aside, right? Yeah. And so it's, you know, me and my family started the business and things like that differently. But away from music. But you know, music is in the blood, right? Yeah. <laughs> music is in the blood. So after about uh, uh, five, six years, right, mm. I, I I produced a couple of tracks with a guy called, a singer called uh, 16. Yeah. Right? And, um, and I, you know, I started to record and put down, put things on the shelf. You know what I mean? Mm. And, um, and after that, now, I, all these songs piling up on the shelf, so to speak. So I decided to just, hey, put them out. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I, I just put out the, the first al- album, The Vault is Open. I mean, The Vault is Open. I recorded people like Pam Hall. Yeah. That's Audrey Hall's sister. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right? Those, those track are, tracks are yet to, 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 to be released, funny enough. Okay. After all these years, right? But, um, yeah, yeah. Um, I've, I've, got, I've got tons of ideas that still in my head. You know, right? Yeah. But um, before I leave this, sorry, some some more will come out. <laughs> Glad to hear it. Yeah, yeah, yeah but, uh, but uh, you know, I'm enjoying myself. Good. Uh, That's I'm the main myself. thing, isn't it? Yeah, enjoy life. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Enjoy life. You only hear once, and that's it. Enjoy, enjoy it. But I'm good, man. You know, we have a good business out here. We have a family. You know I mean, okay. And um, you know, thank God. You know. I invested well, you know. Yeah. And um, away from music, and but I'm still enjoying. I still enjoy music producing and things like that. Yeah. Yeah. What labels did you produce for? Well, children records, you know. That was my main thing. Children. Okay. In the day, back in the day. Did you want to start your own label? In in, in Jamaica. Well, I I did a few things. Um. Uh, prior to coming home, I did a few production uh, in London, you know, in the UK. And, uh, with, uh, you know, um, a label called um, Night Owl, the mm. Marvels, you know, uh, with an album there. And, um, and I, uh, an album came out as well, the South, Af- South African Experience, you know. Yeah. Which was just, you know, not in serious, but, you know, I just compiled a few tracks and put them out. A bunch of these things. People are somehow you know, people checking me for this album, you know. Yeah. Because sometimes you know you don't know what you have, you know, right? Because you 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 do everything, right? Yeah. But different hear people hear different things that you don't hear, and you know. Yeah. But you know, as, as I said, right? I've got loads of music. Pen. Yeah. And uh, and um, yeah, I'm releasing them, you know, little by little. What struggles have you faced in the music industry? Struggle. <laughs> None. <laughs> my own strength. My own strength, yeah. But uh, in fact, remember, right, as I said you earlier, I didn't come up out of the Jamaican scene, you know, right? Or, or the anywhere else like in London, right? I, I got into music, as I said to you earlier on, because of to, to stay out of peer pressure. Uh, yeah. Took up piano and I had to write a few songs. Yeah. Right? So my my dependency wasn't really on music because I had a uh, um, um, I had a train tool making, I did tool making, right? Mm-hmm. So I worked through the whole engineering system. I did all, all of that. Up until nineteen sixty eight. Up until nineteen sixty eight. Yeah. Right? Because I'm a I'm, I'm an only child, you know, so I mean <laughs> I you know, my parents was you know, was very you know, they were expecting me to do good. And in the end, you know, I think I, I made it. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah, definitely did. Yeah, you know, parents are very, you know, they're skeptical and they yeah, hey, music in those days, you know, remember, in the 50s, music was like taboo to Jamaican parents, to a Jamaican parents. Yeah. And, and not Jamaican parents, too. Well, when you tell your parents about your type of music, they say, what are we talking about? You want to lick? Yeah, yeah. But um, it worked, it worked for me. Yeah. You know what I mean? It mm-hmm. worked for me. Definitely. Yeah. Tell me about mm-hmm. reggae in your jiggy. <laughs> I forgot all about that one. <laughs> uh, big tune, so big tune. <laughs> reggae and jiggy, right? That came about again, right? As a uh, you know, in the early day, reggae and jiggy, '69, right? Yeah. Um, Toots Hibbert, the late Toots um, Hibbert, right? Mm. Claimed he 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 coined this. The, 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 I mean, the word reggae, right? Yeah. Right. I don't know about that, right? I, di- I didn't coin it because the, um, there were there were a couple of songs before Toots. Yeah. Right. Mentioning reggae, but not not so much upfront, right? But Toots did a song called uh, reggae, as you know, right? Yeah. And in those days, it was spelled different, right? You, you, you with me? Yeah, I am. Yeah. Oh, okay, it's a spell record. Uh, different, right? Anyway, my record in Jigger was one of the early, probably a, uh, one of the, out of three or four songs that mentioned reggae, 
Okay. Every so often. Okay. Yeah, but, yeah. people who sing reggae don't even know about <laughs> Yeah, it's true. It's yeah, true. Yeah. Where has your love for music taken you? Where it, it, it has taken me? Where have you travelled to do your music? Oh, I'm in Europe, really. Europe, really. Okay. Europe done it. Yeah. I mean, like I said, I was the one to, you know, um, on the road, you know, going up and down, you know, I was really, I was really a pseudo man, right? Yeah. But I, you know, I've, you know, I've been to uh, Scandinavia. Never been to Germany. Yeah. You know, never been to Germany. I've, uh, I've had offers, I mean, but never been. Okay. I've had offers to Italy and everything, but never been turned them down over the years. Yeah. I love Scandinavia. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Never been to Africa. You've got a lot of fans everywhere. <laughs> Can you tell me about your achievements? My achievement. Um, I'm a humble person, and uh, what I've, I've achieved, right, so far, I've, I'm satisfied, right? Yeah. I'm satisfied. I'm not, I'm not greedy, right? Yeah. I'm, I'm very humble. I don't go for all these, uh, you know, exotic, uh, blah, blah. I know, I, I know good living, but I don't go, uh, I'm not a tech streamers. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, 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 I enjoy myself. I, I play golf, you know, you know. I used to play cricket in my early days when I was younger, right? Love, that is my game, cricket. Yeah, I, I, used, I used to play for a couple of clubs and things like that in, in England. Okay. And I came back to Jamaica. Yeah. I came back to Jamaica and I played cricket for Melbourne. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay. Where they were Courtney Walsh and Michael Holden and all those guys um, are members. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah, man. But, um, I, I, uh, like I said to you, I'm humble, right? Give thanks to what I've achieved and, you know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what advice would you give to an aspiring artist or producer? Uh, um, first of all, do your thing. If you love it, you do it. But um, do it good, do it well. Don't expect anything overnight because, you know, music. <laughs> I suppose you like in a business. <laughs> it's, not it's not an overnight thing, right? No. Right? Do it well, do it good. Nowadays, musicians are like, Everybody wants to get uh, to, to be a, a, a star overnight. It's not like that. Yeah. It's more so more than in my days, don't it? Yeah. Everybody's a DJ. Everybody's a DJ. Everybody's that. Everybody's that. And the music has lost its, its soul. There's no soul in music anymore. Mm-hmm. As far as I'm concerned. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Especially, especially Jamaican music. Yeah. They ever will. Generations, everything changed over the every generation. Yeah. But I um, mean, yeah, please write some good songs, write good lyrics. You know what I mean, and you know, make make some more good music. <laughs> because most people all they, all they do is copy. It's all plagiarism. Not all, but a lot of plagiarism, right? Yeah. You know, people pinch this, pinch that, and say they write that and they write that. You know, come on. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> write some good music, right? Write original, you know, we sit down and write. First time in our days, right? We, we sit at the piano and write. We, 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 we knock a song out in probably two weeks. Nowadays it's two minutes. Yeah. <laughs> Not it. it. Because they, they pinch from every, they pinch from Jack Jane and everybody else's music. It's yeah. true. But it's a world, it's a world we're living in, don't it? Everybody, it's, it's, a, it's fast food and fast food. Everything is fast, don't it? Yeah. Nobody wants to sit down and too long and do anything. Everything is just fast. Quick thing. You know? It's, yeah. a, it's a world we're living in, unfortunately. Mm. Who knows Who knows the good old days knows it. But these kids, you can't tell them and tell about the good old days. No. Them say, you're old man, and you're mm. old man. Go sit down. What plans do you have for the future? Plans? What plans? Yeah. I don't have any plans. <laughs> I, don't, I don't have any plans. <laughs> the plan is to open, hope for, hope, you hope that you'll see tomorrow morning. Is it good? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a brand new dawn. What other plans can you have? You know what I mean? Yeah. Plan is, no more plans. Take life easy and enjoy what you have, you know? You know? Yeah, man. I'm up to your grand 
children and your grandkids are children and children, but all the grandkids, but you get what I'm saying? Enjoy your life. Yeah. Come on, man. How can our listeners keep in contact with you? I'm on Facebook, I'm on Instagram, you know, I'm on Facebook, as you know. Uh, I've, I've, got a, I've got a single coming out, yeah. a new single. Okay, what's that yeah. called? Okay. Eh? What's it called? I can't tell you this at the moment. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, too, it's too early, I'll, I'll be giving away everything. Alright. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's, 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 it's going to be the second single okay. in 40 other years. Yeah, because you know, I don't put out things just for the idea, idea of quality, not quantity. I mean, yeah. yeah. But um, right now, people are raving. The, the, the couple of people who musicians and sing and uh, was heard this song, you know what I mean? It's it's the boy, band, the way get this from, who come up with this? Yeah, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> a shout out to your well wishes friends and family This is Dandy Livingstone, Rudy a message to you, Rudy a message to you. When I'm in town, I listen to Fire Red Station, the hottest on the planet. So tell a friend to tell a friend, pick up yourself, stop your running, running around. around. Fire, Fire Red, Red leads, leads the, way. the way. This one for Fire Red. Fire, Fire Red Station. Let me hear say you are built back the nation. Let me tell you something. Yes, no. 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 Y